There's developing news coming from Buckingham Palace. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will stop using their Royal Highness titles and won't receive public funds for royal duties. That's part of a deal Meghan and Harry just struck with the Queen. Ten days ago, the couple blindsided the royal family when they said they wanted to carve out new roles for themselves and were stepping back as senior royals to become financially independent. Crystal Gomansing joins us from London with the latest developments in this family rift. Crystal. Robin, this really is a bombshell announcement from the palace. The plan to become regular folks is done, at least for the most part. Now, the term His and Her Royal Highness will no longer be applied to Harry and Meghan. However, it's worth noting that they're not being stripped of that title. Now, the couple will no longer represent, formally represent the Queen. They will also not receive any public funds for royal duties. And in a statement from the palace outlining the separation, Harry and Meghan will have to repay about $4 million to the taxpayer here, money that was spent renovating their home near Windsor Castle from her cottage. In terms of Canada and their security costs, which has been a big topic of discussion here in Canada, I think the fact that they are truly giving up that title means that Perhaps that concern about the taxpayer's commitment to security costs and any other costs may be less if, um, if zero. It's fine as long as we don't have to pay anything for it. I think that's a pretty brave thing that they're doing, giving up that, that family security that they've had this whole, their whole lives. I think they're making a choice for their family. I think it's fo they're focused on their children and the kind of life that they want for them. The Queen shared some thoughts about the couple's new low-key life away from the royal media spotlight and official duties. She said she was pleased that together we have found a constructive and supportive way forward for my grandson and his family. Harry, Meghan and Archie will always be much-loved members of my family. I recognize the challenges they have experienced as a result of intense scrutiny over the last two years and support their wish for a more independent life. She went on to say, it is my whole family's hope that today's agreement allows them to start building a happy and peaceful new life. Now, this statement comes after the royals had shared details about the separation as Meghan and Harry made their wishes known that they wanted to step away from royal duties. Now, this isn't exactly what we had first thought would be happening. It is a very um, clear separation from the royal family and royal duties, and it appears as if they are getting exactly what they wish for, and we'll be seeing them more in Canada.